Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are starting a two-part series called 10 Sims 4 Challenges slash Mods to make the game more fun. This is the first part, and if you can tell from the title, this is 100 Sims 4 Challenges to make the game more fun. But before I get right into it, I have three things to mention. First off, all of the challenges are linked down below. Second is that I actually kind of made my own challenge for this, so that's a thing. And third, I also got the idea for this video from Taylor Soros. She makes Sims Guide videos, so I suggest that you go check out her videos on the subject. Now that that is uh, that that is out of the way, let's get onto the list. The first challenge is obviously going to be the Not So Berry Challenge. I put this one in the list both because I'm currently playing it myself and because it's one of the most iconic and known Sims 4 challenges in my opinion. I like this challenge because it uses a lot of aspects in the game that everyone overlooks. Like I'm 100% sure most Simmers didn't even know that collecting all of the elements was a thing you could do in the game. Also because it isn't too long or too short and because it creates a story for each generation and a story for all the generations as a whole. The challenge is basically 10 generations where each generation is a different color. Each generation has certain traits, an aspiration to complete, a career to master, master and a few rules to follow. The second challenge is Rags to Riches. I put this one in the list both because I'm currently playing it myself and because it is very popular in the community. I like this challenge because it spices up the game by forcing you to do something you don't normally do. Normally, your sim starts with a house and a lots of funds, but with this challenge, you start with an empty lot and no funds. In this challenge, you start with nothing. You can only rummage for stuff and use public services. Also, you can only start building a house or placing stuff outside after you complete certain steps, which I think makes it quite fun um, and challenging. The third challenge is the 100 baby challenge. I put this one in the list because it is very popular in my community. Um, basically, you start with a young, young adult Sam and try to give birth to 100 children in, a, in as few generations as possible. But you do have to actually raise the children to adulthood. Also, you cannot use any like child support mods or mods that allow you to overstuff your household. The fourth challenge is the 100 heartbreak challenge. I put this one I put this challenge in the list because it seemed interesting and fun. The part of the challenge is just like the 100 baby challenge. You have to break 100 hearts. But there are more rules than just that. Um the first rule is that you cannot use cheats, but you can use the billionaire mod. The second rule is that you cannot get married, engaged, or pregnant slash get others pregnant. The third rule is that you can only leave the house to find other sims to date. And the fourth rule is that you have to pick traits and aspiration that, that helps you. Basically, your sim has to have the romantic trait and the serial romantic aspiration. The fifth challenge is the cow plant challenge. I put this challenge... Or I chose to put this challenge in the list because it looked like it could be lots of fun. And because I know that most simmers love to murder sims. Um, <laughs> um, the premise of this challenge is that you have a cow plant and you try to see how many sims you can kill using the cow plant. There isn't really a set ending, so that's up to you. Um, the first step slash rule is that you can make that you make a sim with a gardening aspiration and place them in a house in the waste of springs. The second step slash rule is that your sim fishes in the magic fishing hole in the corner of the park in Oasis Springs until they get a cow plant berry. The third step slash rule is that the sim cannot have kids or significant others. The fourth step slash rule is that the, that the sim has to plant the seed, wait for the cow plant to grow to adult size, and feed the cow plant every 16 hours until you are ready to lure a sim in to be eaten and the fifth and final step slash rule is that if the cow plant dies you basically restart and go back to step two the sixth challenge is that um or is the truman show challenge i chose to put this one in the list because it's unique and seems really fun the premise of this premise of this challenge is basically the truman show the movie 
in The Sims. They, the first step is that you make two young adult sims that both have the family oriented trait and they can look however you want as long as they don't have monarch clothes. The second step is that you can have any mods installed except mods that make the game easier, so no mods that make the skills level up faster. The third step is to make a male baby and give him whatever traits you want, as, as long as they make him adventurous and ambitious. Also, don't forget to edit the relationships and cast. The fourth step is to pick a lot to move into. Use cheats to give the family 50,000 simoleons. Um, to right, yeah, sorry. Um, to use the area, yeah, you use the money to build slash buy a seventy style home. You know, basically like no modern gadgets. Uh, so the lifespan long and make the whole world around him age up as he does. The rules are that you cannot con you cannot control Truman and that he has to do certain things. The uh the end goal is for him to die of old age and have a hundred thousand simoleons saved up. The seventh challenge is the Sims Master, che Master Chef Challenge. I chose this challenge because I love a good co cooking competition and because it seemed to be just the right length. Basically, it's a Sims version of Master Chef. The rules are, firstly, that you start with eight Sims. You choose a Sim to be the judge and set the, uh, the other seven Sims to all have food slash drink skills set at one. Then you build the set of Master Chef, which includes a mega kitchen with seven kitchen sets, judging tables, rest area, the pantry and dining area, dorms for contestants, dorms for judges, and an entertainment area. Also, the Sims aren't allowed to travel or have jobs outside their tasks. And each week, um, one Sim will be eliminated and removed from the house. You can choose or make a scoring system of some sort. For example, if a sim sets, sets something on fire or makes poor quality food, they would be eliminated. There are two challenges each week. First challenge determines who gets immunity, and the second challenge determines who will get eliminated. Also, by the way, the immune particip participants still join the second challenge just to improve their skills. The eighth challenge is the build a city challenge. I put this challenge in the list because I wanted to include a challenge that included something about building. To get started, you first bulldoze all uh, the lots in Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, and Mongolia Prom Promenade. Or Promenade or something like that? I don't know. Um, then, your starting households are decide decided randomly. You move into any available lot that is a part of the world that you have unlocked. Also, turn off aging for all households except for the active one because this challenge is played by rotating households week by week. So basically, you gain new things when the, your settlers do certain things, and the main goals of the challenge are to reach a population of 50,000 using the sim multiplier, and to unlock all careers, community lots, and worlds. Also, to complete both of those in the least amount of time possible. The ninth challenge is the perfect genetics challenge, but the natural version because the unnatural hair colors don't pass down to the children, and there aren't that many unnatural eye colors in the game. I put this one in the list because I felt like I needed a challenge relating to cast because there are just so many in the community, so I chose this one. Um, basically, you have a young adult sim that has the hates children trait. The rest of the traits in the aspiration don't really matter, um, and the goal is that to reach 100 generations with the same hair slash eye color as the original sim. The tenth challenge is the alphabet alphabetic alphabet to see challenge sorry i really don't know how to say that um but with a twist of my own basically the same rules for the regular challenge but every generation has an aspiration to complete and a skill to master that starts with the letter of the generation also if you don't want to do all that you can run my stuff with the random legacy generator that will be linked down below Honestly, I would really only do this challenge if you had absolutely nothing else to do because it's 26 generations and that would take forever. But that's all folks. I hope this helped solve your boredom or whatever problem you were having that led you to this video. This is the first of a two-part mini-series, so the next part, which is 100 Sims 4 mods to make the game more fun, will be coming out either next week or the week after that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and peace.